the formidable robot. Hi, I'm a creator of an object show web series about eight contestants and a floating black infinite symbol which being the host. The main gang would partake in games which the host made in order to see which one loses and has to leave the show immediately with the most votes. One of the episodes involved the remaining contestants partaking in a game where they have to find a key to unlock a special suitcase. At the end of the episode, one of the contestants, who which he's the butt monkey throughout the show, was luckily enough to find the key and then proceeding to open the suitcase by a slow motion moment compiling with a violin build up, just before cutting abruptly to a black screen with the words, you will never know what's inside the suitcase. The joke is that the suitcase was never meant to be shown when unlocked, so my fans ended up appreciating it and moved on. However, there was a user who ended up being so curious about it that he ended up being aggressive each time I ignored him. Super Mario Fan 3301. At first, he ended up making his first comment in which he said he understands the joke but wants to know what it contains. Just like other popular creators do, I eventually made more videos either related to my object show or anything else that happened during my life. He kept appearing in my comment section, asking me about the suitcase more and more, getting more impatient each time I posted a video. There is one point, a user came up to him, just to confront him in the reply section on one of the videos but was kindly told that he needs the answer from the creator. Not everyone else, but from me. His actions would get worse each time whenever I continued posting a video, just until it happened. My mother suddenly passed out from a heart attack and was confirmed dead later at a hospital. My family and I had our hearts crushed as she is literally the most nicest mother that every kid would have had. When I posted the video about my mother, everyone felt bad for me and said they are sorry for her loss in the comments section. It made me feel better until Super Mario Fan 3301 appeared. His response was not like the others, supposedly the opposite. I don't care about your mother for crying out loud, I just need to know what's inside the suitcase. At that point, his response shocked everyone, including me, which really hurts my feelings. Everyone in the reply section started telling him this isn't a nice response but he went nuts. He argued with everyone, berating them for not joining his team and insulting them in ways. At this point I had enough of him and ended up making this single comment towards him. Okay, you're beyond mean towards everyone for what, just because I can't reveal the contents of a fucking suitcase. Just get out. You're not kind enough to be commenting on my videos. Just, get out. For a while, nothing ever came out from Super Mario Fan 3301, just until he finally responded to my comment, his response is something out of the ordinary. Ignore me again, or I'll do something horrible. That's basically it, no uppercase text or letters, for some reason I was creeped out by the response, but I had to ignore it since I thought he was just being edgy to make me do what he says for me to do. For two months, I ended up working on an episode for my object show with friends who've been involved working on the show, I finally completed it. It was an episode where the small remaining contestants had to walk through a broken down bridge in order to not fall into the toxic waste volcano. It's also the same episode where it referenced Super Mario Fan 3301 in some way. At the beginning of the episode, where the Infinite Ghost talked about the viewers who helped vote which one has to leave the show. He jokingly says that the only user who never voted was that annoying fan who berates us for not revealing the suitcase in one of our other episodes, before announcing this episode's game. My fans ended up liking the joke and appreciating how the character made fun of him while I was waiting for Super Mario Fan 3301 to suddenly make a response about it, but nothing ever happened. It was like he saw it and suddenly didn't say anything about it. Thinking about it, I was glad he finally left the comment section and moved on from it. Just until I hear a Discord ping. I checked to see what and who pinged me, usually thinking it was my friends sending me a shit post and there he was. It was him. I don't know how he ended up finding my Discord account just to make a DM as I didn't make a Discord server for my fans and community. But I knew what to do and decided for my curiosity to check what he said. It was a picture of my house. 
my actual house. It was taken low brightly due to it being midnight and my dad was busy doing stuff in the living room. Underneath it was another message, this time it was a caption. Guess who's having fun with you guys tonight? This sick motherfucker somehow managed to track down my whereabouts and has taken a picture of it, just to upload it in my DMs. In my fight or flight mode, I checked outside and there was a person standing near my house, staring at me. I couldn't tell if he was a man or a teenager but he was staring at me still. At this instant, I snatched a picture of him and ended up contacting my friends to call the police for this guy to get arrested. I frantically thanked them for doing so before I heard a loud bang outside my room along with my dad screaming. I dashed down the stairs just to see what's going on and he's now inside my living room. My father was shot in the leg and was freaking out. I looked at him with horror in my eyes before he asked me in an unnervingly quiet voice. Now, could you please tell me what's inside the suit- Shut up! I don't care if it's about the suitcase. Just look what you did to my dad you sick fuck. I already got the cops coming to arrest you. This is all over a fucking suitcase. A fucking suitcase. What in the fuck were you thinking? I shouted with rage, tears streaming down my eyes as he still stared. Not offended by my excuse, he aimed the gun towards me. I'm afraid I don't need a confrontation. He said comfortably, pulling the trigger slowly to my head. I had anxious attacks before, but this incident is giving me one that would leave a permanent scar for the rest of my life. That threat he made in the comments back in months ago is now making sense. This was something horrible, and he's doing it there. This guy had lost his sanity over a suitcase he's interested in. I began to close my eyes, slowly realizing this could be the end for me, but then a miracle came. The cops finally showed up in time to arrest him. They handcuffed and pinned him down while some of them asked if I was okay. I was swept with tears from what had happened before hugging one of them and cried. Later, I had to stay at the police station for the night, answering their questions about the past events leading up to the moment. It's been a long while since the incident, and me and my dad were recovering from the trauma of it all with therapy helping me go through it. Following the incident, I told my fans about what happened, in which they were horrified and ended up supporting me. I took a long hiatus from YouTube, which I still am, to focus on life and therapy. And hopefully I would return once I recovered well. It's horrible to know there's some fans out there in a community who could be very toxic to other people and rarely to creators, and I'm just sad I'm one of them.